way some great adventures begin. can say what excitement and unexpected pleasures they will eventually bring. And to whom? Some will go east, some west. Some will find a home near, others far. But in each, there is inbuilt freedom of movement, a means to far-flung travel joy for anyone, not only on the open road, but off the beaten path besides. This one, for instance. Now, where do you suppose it's bound? And to whom will it belong? define happiness when you have everything you've ever wanted. And coming up, two weeks with the most wonderful man in the world, in the mountains of Grand Teton National Park. fence together, hand in hand. Then sit side by side on the bank of a river and look at the world and dream and plan. was very grand indeed. 
first day, he decided that we ought to go mountain climbing. That wasn't my idea of a honeymoon, but what could I say? So we went to school together. Mountain climbing school. For this you must do before you really climb. There are tricks to learn. He naturally took to it like a Swiss um, yodeler. Basically, an elevator girl. Then, awfully suddenly it seemed, there we were, ready to go with full climbing outfits, ropes and packs and axes and things, and, and a real live guide to show us the way. gave me a souvenir for luck. Of course, the guide pointed out that the charm hadn't done its original owner very much good. Anyway, it said that people climb mountains simply because they're there. And there they were. We climbed one. 